Hey guys, Blocks1000 here, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we got started on the Battle Rock Galaxy, and in this episode, we're gonna finish the Battle Rock Galaxy, because we only have one mission left that we can do there, at least for now. Uh, there's a couple of other missions, but they can't be completed as of yet. Uh, Top Maniac and the Topman Tribe. Okay. Let's get started then, because this is a boss level. In case you can't tell from the title. <laughs> Alright, we have some new enemies, I believe. I don't know if... We probably haven't seen those guys yet. We've seen other versions of them, and those guys from uh, last episode, the guys that were called... These guys are here, Top Minis. Uh, they are a, they're the same species. Oh my god, Mario, stop walking in circles. Uh, they, they are from the same species as the Top Men. So we've technically already seen the Top Men, but uh, here we're going to really see them. I don't really know if that counts as a spoiler or not. I mean, it showed it It showed it showed in the uh, preview, so technically it's not. Alright, there we have some Monty Moles, or I might be wrong. Um, for all I know, it's probably a different type of Monty Mole. I believe it's Monty Mole, but um, I'll put it on screen. Because I know that there are different types of creatures that are similar to Monty Moles. Alright, so we have some mines. Just long jump across that. Whoa! Stupid zero gravity. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just got back from New York, and I decided to record this because I don't want to delay the Let's Play any further, so yeah, I'm recording this, um, and I'm going to get it all done before the end of the day, so that'll be nice and challenging, I guess. Alright, so let's get this extra life shroom, and right here, um, you got to basically spin top men into the electric currents, and that'll kill them. That's the only way to do it, otherwise they'll just knock you around, sort of like the bullies from Super Mario 64. Thank you. Oh, sweet freedom. I'll show you a shortcut as a reward, and transform! Still not as epic as transform, but it, like I said, it'll have to do. All right, this is a cool part of the level right here. Uh, we gotta break this box right here, just to avoid this guy. Oh yeah, you also can't kill them, um, well, I believe that, I don't remember the exact way, but I'll find it as we go. But you can't kill them by just jumping on them, because, well, they'll hide in their little hole before it's too late. Alright, uh, kill this Octumba, just because I feel like it. I love how Octumbas sort of, like, dance around, it's kind of funny. Um, let's get this question mark block. Oh, jeez! That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Darn, I screwed that up. Yep, only two star bits. <laughs> that was pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, and we already wasted our life shroom, man, uh, that kind of sucks. Alright, let's get up there, and let's get that question mark coin, because I believe there's something interesting that happens. My god, Mario, just get up there. I believe it's just, yes, it's just star bits. I was thinking it would be coins, but I guess not. Alright, oh, there's a one-up up there, too. Let's try to get that. Woohoo, yeah. Alright, let's shake this thing, it'll change the gravity, just like uh, you saw earlier. I almost screwed that up. <laughs> Avoid the Octum but My god, my luck has just been great today already. Uh, let's just keep running. Oh, these things will try to push you into the other current, just avoid them. Not that hard, just sort of like a time-based thing. Um, anyways, just get over here. And, yeah. While I was in New York, believe it or not, I actually did some... Oh, whoa, that was close. I, uh, did some planning for a future Let's Play, which may or may not end up being the next Let's Play. Can't tell you what it is just yet, because that'll spoil it, but, um, it may or may not end up being the next Let's Play. If not, then it'll be... It'll be a future Let's Play, that's all I know. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Um, you can see that the red things will crush you entirely, so avoid them. Let's jump on this guy. Spring. And, yeah, we're up here. Now, this is, um, this part. Okay, let's just jump over this guy. Avoid him. And let's, I just want to grab this. Ooh, lots of star bits. Nice. We could use, we could use some star bits, that's for sure. Um, and there we go. Mini launch star. Or, no, it's called Sling Star, not 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 mini launch star. <laughs> All right, right here. This is, believe it or not, I believe. Okay, I was wrong. Here we just gotta kill both the top men. Um, I thought it was the end of the level, but it's not. All right, 
There we go. Shut that down and we can go through. There's our launch tower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Weird gravity. <laughs> Technically, we couldn't have died there, but... Okay, that looked awesome. Another cinematic shot from Super Mario Galaxy. It's crazy to believe that this game is going to be 10 years old next year. That's right. 10 years old. This game still feels so new to me. I don't know why. I guess it's because I... I guess because I play a lot of retro games, and technically, the Wii is still not a very entirely old console. I mean, it's 10 years old, obviously, but the Wii, um, was only Nintendo's, uh, it was only their console from the last generation, so it really isn't that old. Anyways, you can see that shadow. Let's go into first person. You can see something up there. Let's go and investigate that. Oh my god, it's so intimidating. It's a top. Let's kill it. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's just end this quickly, because honestly, this level... This boss is not hard at all. You've got to stomp on him and then shake him into this. Yeah, it's very, very fun. I wonder what the record for fastest completion of this boss is. Anyways, once you hit him twice, he'll spawn in some top men and some top minis. Uh, not that hard, just avoid them, and he's already gone. <laughs> that was pitiful. That was so easy. Also... Um, do I really want to show this? I didn't show this earlier before we get this, but this guy right here, this Hungry Luma, uh, or, hold on, once I talk to him, Luma Lee Luma Bop, welcome to the Luma Shop, I can sell you something helpful for only 30 star bits, so he'll either sell you a 1-up or a Life Shroom, I guess, uh, Life Shroom, of course, gives you extra health, uh, and 1-up gives you an extra life. Um, so it's up to you if you really, really want to do it. I don't really feel like wasting star bits, because really, you have no chance of dying on that boss, to be honest. It's really easy. Alright, we got a star. Cool. <laughs> okay, so next up, we have some bonus levels to do in the fountain here. And then we will go um, and end things off. Because next episode, we're going to be challenging the boss, obviously. So we'll do that next episode. Um, but I want to get everything else out of the way. Um, and, yeah. Well, I, I, for, with the with this pace that we've been going, we're getting at least one, um, we're getting at least one dome done every five or six episodes, so I think that's a pretty good, I think that's pretty good, to be honest. Okay, so, Hurry Scurry Galaxy. This is a pretty easy level, of course, it's just a bonus level, but it's actually really clever. I like what they did with this level. As you can see, it's an entire level made out of shrinking platforms. Um, if you remember them, standing on them will make them slowly disappear, so you gotta move quickly. Anyways, this level, what they did with it is really, really cool. Basically, as you can see over there, there's a planet made entirely out of them. And once we get over there, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Grab this one up just cuz. And let's see how many we can get here. Aww, we didn't get all of them. Whatever. So as you can see, there are some music notes appearing. We gotta grab every single one of them before running out of platforms to stand on, basically. It's very, very clever. I, I, it's, it's one thing that I like about this game, is just the unique ideas that they made for platforming. Alright, so as you can see, it's also timed, but honestly, if you just keep going, you really can't screw this up. It's too easy. See, look at that. Look at how easy that was. We still have tons of platforms left. As long as you just plan carefully, you really have no chance of dying. Also, from what I know, I don't think you can actually screw that up either. Like, you can't, um... I don't really think it's possible to uh, miss the star. I think the gravity just pulls you towards it. Okay, now, um, let's see. Maybe we do actually have time to challenge the boss this episode. We'll, we'll see how we're doing, to be honest. I, I'm not really sure. Alright, galaxy complete. And, because, I mean, really, th this, this level's really, really short. That's for sure. Okay, let's go up here, and... Oh! Daredevil Comet. Oh, this'll be interesting. Uh, well... You, we did work... <laughs> this kind of sucks. We're actually going to be doing the exact same level that we just did, unfortunately, and I... But Daredevil Comets, they're pretty interesting. Once we get over here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's one thing that I find that this le uh, that this game in particular did a little bit that was kind of a bit annoying to be honest, and that's the fact that they kind of rehashed a lot of earlier levels. So like, basically you play a level and you have to replay the whole thing with the time limit, which is the speedrun things. As you can see, Daredevil Comet. 
absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Daredevil comments. Make it so that you only have one health no matter how how many coins you collect and no matter how many things you do, you really can't get any extra health. You're stuck at one. Yeah, uh, as you can see, we have to complete the Topman boss, sorry, the Top Maniac boss with only one health. Um, and I was, I thought you had to do the entire level, so I'm sorry about that. I actually thought you had to do the entire level, but I was completely wrong. Alright, let's do this. Let's end this quick. Alright, so this, this boss, of course, the same thing, just spin him in there. Uh, I advise being more careful because, as you can see, it is easy to lose at least one life during this boss. I mean, not, it's not like the hard, it's really not a hard boss, but just like, if you're not careful, you can end up losing that one life or whatever. Anyways, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, if you want to be really, really careful, you can take it all the top men's and the, the top man, top men, bleh. <laughs> my grammar is beautiful. You can take it all the top men and the top minis before... Top Maniac. Oh my god. They all have different names, so it confuses me. Just, if you want to make it easier, take out all the top minis and the top men. <laughs> god, that took forever to get it off my get out of my tongue. Alright, so, that was a very, very short level. As you can see, we have some short levels that we're doing here. Uh, anyways, let's go up here. And we have another level to do. Another bonus mission. What is it? The Rolling Green Galaxy. This mission, guys, I have a bad history with. This is another mission that utilizes motion controls to the maximum. And when I was younger, I never beat this level, actually. It took me, I think, five years before I could finally master the motion controls enough to actually beat this level. It sucks. Um, though, really, this level is not that hard. Once you really... If you really, if you don't know how to use the motion controls, this level will be absolute hell for you. But, really, it's not that bad. So, basically, what you gotta do is, you gotta get on this ball... Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you better listen to old Billboard here. Get it? Billboard! <laughs> that was a dumb laugh. First, jump on top of that ball. Alright. You press A, jump on it. So basically, uh, you gotta tilt the controller in certain directions in order to get it to roll. Uh, so I don't really need to listen to his, to his instructions. I will do it myself. Tilt left and right to, uh... Obviously, go back to go left and right, and tilt forward to go forward. If you hold straight up, you will stop moving. So yeah, it's easy it controls. Just I really, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of motion controls in games because they just I feel like they just I don't know what it is. They just they really don't feel like the way of the future to me. It's like uh, Nintendo's idea with the Wii was that they would they made a couple of games with literally full motion controls, which I found really really annoying. It's like. Like, Super Mario Galaxy doesn't have, like, motion controls aren't the only thing that's utilized in this game, uh, but whenever there are mo motion controls, it does feel really, really annoying to me. Uh, just because, well, I just mean, come on. You have to, like, really, really be careful. It takes a lot of practice and patience in order to be good at motion controls. That's what I'm trying to say. At least this game is no Skyward Sword in terms of motion controls, whoa. Yeah, because Zelda Skyward Sword's motion controls are ridiculous sometimes, just because like, practically everything in that game involves motion controls. Alright, there we go, we made it to the end. Um, however, that's not the last of these levels, because, spoiler alert, there are a couple more levels like that. But, this one's the easiest, obviously. Alright, let's get up here and grab the star. Now, let me think for a sec. We haven't really been going for very long, so I, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, do I really, really want to go challenge the boss in this episode? Um, I'm still thinking. <laughs> this is like, because I, I didn't expect to get all those missions done in such a short amount of time, but uh, I did anyway. You know what? Sure, let's go challenge the boss. Let's clip the giant Bowser head. And... Bowser Star Reactor. Alright, let's head off. This is a very different boss mission. Every two worlds, you get a very, very big boss mission. <laughs> Alright, the Fiery Stronghold. Yeah, every odd-numbered world has a unique boss, but then every even-numbered world, you'll see. You'll see how it goes. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, as you can see, this place has a remix of the Koopa Road from uh, Super Mario 64, which I find kind of interesting. 
I, the Koopa Road has always been like, probably the most intimidating Bowser World theme in my opinion. It's really, really cool. Um, I find that like, songs that purpose, pur purpose, no, perfectly <laughs> capture the essence of Bowser. This song, Bowser's theme from Paper Mario, and I don't really know to be honest. I just, they just, they all sound just so Bowser-esque. I guess maybe Bowser's battle theme from Hey, uh, from uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Head Story. Um, yeah. Those songs all uh, just really, really capture the essence of, like, Bowser. He's so powerful and evil. He's awesome. He's definitely not my favorite Nintendo villain, mostly just because I'm kind of sick of him. Though, in certain situations, I love him. Like, I think he's a cool villain in some games. Um, then in the Mario RPGs, whenever he's, like, an anti-hero or, like like a secondary antagonist, like, it, whenever he's just like an antagonist that isn't, where he's not like the main villain, I really really like when they do that, because it just, he, he seems like such an oaf compared to some of the other villains in the Mario RPGs, but yeah, I really really like Bowser is all I'm trying to say. Alright, let's get up here, what am I waiting for, let's just go, burn your butt Mario, alright! Look, it's Bowser! We're at the final boss already! No, we're not. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna burn all these platforms. So you gotta run, you gotta run, man! Grab the life shroom just cause I feel like it. And don't die, don't die, Mario! Don't die! Oh, jeez, don't die. Alright, there we go. It's a ball of spaghetti. No, it's, it's a stun. <laughs> you finally made it! Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits! Yeah, so we're already fighting Bowser! This is interesting! I like what they did in this game, where like, you actually fight Bowser before the final boss. It's like, it makes you just wonder what tricks he has up his sleeve. Alright, so, uh, basically what you gotta do is on Bowser, I know you can do it. You gotta get him to stomp onto these glass platforms where he burns his tail, um, and then you gotta shake him to make him spin around, and then you gotta shake him again. Very, very simple. I like it. It's a interesting concept. It doesn't really make a lot of sense in some cases, but I like what they did with it. Alright, he's gonna try to burn us, and he's gonna do these shock waves, just like on Super Mario 64, and yes, there we go. Though this battle theme is absolutely legendary, seriously, just listen to it. It's so good! My god, how did they manage to make a battle theme so unbelievably good? It's like, this is another scene, I guess this is another song that purposely, pur why do I keep saying purposely? My god, I just can't talk today. This is another song that perfectly captures the essence of Bowser. Yeah, I always seem to have a lot of trouble talking sometimes whenever I do Let's Plays, I don't know what it is. I guess it might have something to do with... Maybe the fact that I'm talking for the past 20 minutes of my life non-stop, I don't know. <laughs> it usually just leads to a lot of trouble with talking sometimes. Mostly because, mostly part of the fact that I have to struggle to realize, what I, like, come up with ideas to talk about, I guess. I don't really know. Um, and, this is it, the finishing blow! Bowser's dead. No, he's not. We still have four worlds to go. What? How? Foolish Mario. My plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me? Mwahaha! <laughs> and we have our third grand star. Oh, man, we're actually getting through this game pretty quickly. A lot quicker than I thought we would. There we go, guys. You got a grand star! Yeah, <laughs> that's what we got. Alright, guys, I think we have just enough time left for one more thing. Definitely, we got a lot more stuff done than I thought we would in this episode. But, um, you know, I don't want to leave it till next episode just because I feel like it would feel kind of awkward. But, we're going to get it done in this episode anyway. <laughs> Alright, we, re we restored light to that area. A brand new area, mind you. And we are about to go into my favorite dome of all. 
<laughs> well, next episode at least. Because, um, as you can- Oh, whoa, we've discovered four new galaxies already, because we have enough stars. You rescued another grand star, and powers returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm, but I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from here to the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the observatory will be able to go there. Then you can reunite with your special one. Also, this is kind of cool. I never knew this until like a couple, of, like a couple of months ago. Like I never noticed. But the more grand stars you collect in the game, the more, the better the the observatory theme sounds. It's like they add more instruments to the observatory theme. I never noticed that until like a couple months ago. Do I? Am I an idiot or what? Anyways, as we can go right here, and there's a hungry Luma. And um, we're about to go to one of my least favorite levels in the entire game. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got, I, don't wanna, I don't need to actually read this, because I've read it every single time, yo. I don't know why. Okay, 400 star bits. That's not too bad. Uh, let's feed him. Okay, at least let's spit it up. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! Okay. Here we go. This level, guys. The Sling Pod Galaxy. I absolutely hate this level, but listen to me talk, because the moment we get into this level, I'm gonna get it on the first try, aren't I? Because that's how it goes. Oh, man. A very sticky situation, indeed. This level sucks, in my opinion. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, you remember those sling pods from the Space Junk, space junk Galaxy? Well, now they have an entire level themed around them. Yep. Oh my god, at least they give you a lot of star bits. That's one thing. This level has a lot of star bits, so if you want to grind, come here. Alright, aim it correctly. Oh, man, that was close. Um, and... Shut up! What? That was stupid. Oh, stupid. <laughs> I can tell already this is not going to go well. This episode is going to be a lot longer than I originally intended it just because of this one level. Um, why did I decide to do this in this in this episode? Why, why, why? Oh, man. I need to be more patient. Alright. And... Right there. I'm not gonna bother with that one-up, because it is absolute clickbait. It's clickbait. Alright, and we go. I'm just trying to focus really, really carefully. I don't want to screw this up. Lots of star bits. I don't want to collect them all, because it takes an eternity. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. Thank God it lets you save yourself. Save yourselves! Alright. Next part. Uh, we gotta go over here. I'm not gonna bother with that question mark. No, 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 I will do clickbait, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this at least makes it easier to aim yourselves, because the star bits tell you where to aim. Um, this part sucks. Uh, shoot there. No, 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 no! Oh. See what I mean? We've already died multiple times, and this is like... Like, just this level. This level sucks, okay? Just... <laughs> oh wait, no, get get over there. Okay, good. Um, that was close. No! Idiot! Mario, be smart sometimes. Alright, and we go over there. And we go over there. I'm just trying to I'm just I'm sorry if my commentary on this level sucks. I'm just trying to focus super, super carefully. Also, why did I why did I decide to collect all those star bits? I should have waited. Okay, this is it. And no, 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 stop This is not a good idea. No, 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 no. Uh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> uh. 
Well, that wasn't too bad, but still, it took longer than I wanted it to. Uh, okay. There we go. That's our 27th star. We got a, you know, we got a lot of stars in this episode. Ooh, this is interesting. I'll be sure to show this off next episode. Well, okay, here's my plan. Today, I'm gonna upload a separate part. Um, a little, like, two-second part, basically. Because there's something that I want to show off in a separate video. They're gonna be more like a bonus kind of thing. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye!